For the thousands in attendance and millions watching around the world, please welcome your host, the one and only Big Blue Jabroni! Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Big Blue Jabroni here. Just going to make a quick video here for you today. Uh, yesterday I was on Giants Alliance channel. Uh, make sure you check him out. I've been on his channel quite a few times. Really cool guy. Uh, but today what I'm going to be talking about is just the mini camp news that's been coming out over the last couple days. Uh, number one note that everyone is kind of really upset is that it's been very physical and that they're trying to whip these boys into shape fairly quickly. Uh, I think that's obviously going to be a good sign in a shortened uh, offseason that we have like today. Uh, giant hurdles to go over with having to implement an entire new offense, entire new defense, uh, obviously a whole new coaching staff, a very young team, uh, so they have their work cut out. So to hear uh, a lot of these beat reporters and a lot of guys talking about how maybe it's too physical or they're being rough on these guys, uh, obviously, infamously, he has these guys running laps. Uh, a lot of people had a problem with that. Most people seem to have a lot of fun with it, and they do understand it's for disciplinary reasons. And this has not been a very good football team uh, over the last several years. So if we have to switch it up and do some things that guys don't like, uh, so be it. Um, the comparisons have come out very early of Bill Parcells and Tom Coughlin and being rough on the guys. And obviously those worked out very well at the end with two Super Bowls on, for each of them. Uh, I'm not having expectations like that out of Joe Judge this early on. But when you go from a soft coach to a rough and rowdy guy, you're definitely going to get this type of uh, intensity early on. And it's always much, much easier to be the hard ass and then to kind of ease up on the guys than to be the nice guy and if things don't go well, try and toughen up because then it's not going to seem genuine and guys aren't going to really believe you. Uh, I hope Joe Judge does understand how to tote the line and uh, how to get these guys. But even some of the veteran guys, uh, Golden Tate said he's been very excited about camp and he doesn't mind uh, the physicality in practice. Uh, a lot of the young guys looking really good. Uh, everything you hear out of Matt Pert sounds like he's been an absolute steal already, even though he was supposed to be a little bit more of a like a project for us and someone you would see next year. But it sounds like he's definitely going to see some playing time pretty early on. Uh, Andrew Thomas, no news is good news. Uh, he's solid left tackle. He seems like he's been handling our pass rushers, which really aren't much when you look at uh, the roster right now. He's going to have his hands full with T.J. Watt and Bud Dupree week one, but it sounds like we're going to have the best left tackle we've had for quite a long time, so that's very exciting. And <clears throat> I've been banging the drum on Caden Smith about how great he is, and I always think he's going to be a difference maker, but everything you really hear and read is Evan Ingram showed up to camp absolutely ready to steal this job, and that's really exciting to hear as a Giants fan because he's always had that giant potential, but... He's never really been able to stay on the field or show it week after week. Uh, another standout, uh, Xavier McKinney. He's had a couple picks already. He seems to be all over the defense just the way that we were excited and wanted to use him. He's been in the box, out. Uh, so that's also another star. Jabrell Peppers has been a very local veter. He wants to be here for quite a long time with all of his actions and everything that he's said. Uh, so that's really exciting. And my personal favorite, Dark Horse player, they said Julian Love has played absolutely great at defensive back, and that is extremely exciting to hear. Obviously, with DeAndre Baker not going to be on the team, um, Darnay Holmes being a rookie, a late uh, round pick also. So uh, to not have to just force him out on the field for every defensive play, uh, that's going to be a, a good to see. Um, but really, just the big notes have been the discipline, the preparedness, and doing your job and a lot of that stuff is definitely going to sound Bill Belichick-ish but he does come from the Bill Belichick tree and Nick Saban tree and these are guys who are not known to be nice guys and they can be really rough on their players but if the results happen uh, all these guys are going to fall in line uh, there's definitely going to be some worrisome that if they don't win early on that these guys might want to tune him out but I think with such a young team, nobody who's really proven themselves mostly on the team, if you really look around, uh, that they really have no one else to listen to. And 
I'm very excited to see week one football, and I'm very excited to see how this Giants team comes out. I think a power run game is going to be our best friend this year, especially if guys are in football shape. The only way you get in football shape is by playing football, and running around trying to chase Saquon is not going to be an easy task for anyone. Um, sorry for the delay of the videos. have been really busy at work. Uh, when football really starts to gear up, definitely going to be doing more of these. But uh, And just all the way at the end, just want to remind you guys, uh, Jabroni's win the ring contest, three picks. Follow me on Twitter. Send me your picks. We have a spreadsheet going on. Some of your favorite giant YouTubers are already involved. Entertainer, Giants Alliance, The Hub, OGR, uh, yours truly. And I'm going to keep us updated on the picks to see who's winning the contest. And if you want it, just a very easy, free to enter. And uh, thanks again for checking out the videos and all the support, guys. See you on the next one.